This is the video update for Friday, January 13th, 2023 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This is going to be my last video update for a while. Indeed, this is probably my last day in the office for a little while. This Sunday, I'm starting a five-month sabbatical. A sabbatical is an opportunity to rest, to try some different hobbies, and to think deeply about what comes next. Lincoln, this church has a, a history of having very long-serving Unitarian ministers, and I intend to be one of them. My two predecessors, I think, were here for 17 years and 35 years. But I also want this ministry, this thing that we're building together to be exciting and fresh and speaking to the moment. And one of the ways that you have all of those things, a long ministry that is also fresh and exciting and speaking to the moment, is that you step away once in a while. I am so, so grateful to the Unitarian Church of Lincoln for supporting this time and to the Seven Oaks Unitarians in Kent, England for hosting my family and I for the next five months. It is a privilege in several senses of the word to be able to do this and it's one that I'm very conscious of and very humbled by. There are um, some practical pieces to talk about. Um, so let's start with etymology, you know, practical, practical piece that that is. The root of sabbatical is, is Hebrew, Shabbat, meaning to rest. And usually we think of, of Sabbath as one day a week, but there's another meaning in Hebrew scripture. Every seventh year, the Torah says, is a year of rest for the land, where you, you commit not to sow your field, where you shall not sow your field or prune your vineyard, Leviticus says. Sabbatical is a time to be intentionally unproductive. Now you could say now that one of the reasons that we do this and one of the reasons they probably did that when it was written is that we let agricultural fields lay fallow to keep the soil healthy, to build up nitrogen and other nutrients in the soil. And you can go without letting fields lie fallow every few years, but it requires a whole lot more artificial fertilizer, pesticides, and erosion control, and is not uh, sustainable in the long run. Ministries like that. So this spring is going to be a little bit like that for me, intentionally unproductive, letting um, the soil build up its nutrients. I'm taking work email off of my phone, so I will not be checking the minister at unitarianlincoln.org address for the next five months, nor will I be going through five months of back emails when I get back. So if there's something important uh, to talk to me about, email me in June once I'm, once I'm back in Lincoln. Uh, over these five months, I won't be available for one-on-one -on -one meetings, committee meetings, or rites of passage until after General Assembly in June. Now, if you do need something or have a question during this time, we've put together a short document available here that will help point you in the right direction with um, who to reach and, and how to reach them at the church. In addition, um, UCL's officers and the UUA have a way to reach me if there's a true emergency at the church. And by true emergency, here's, here's what I mean. Think... Um, the church building just burned down, or uh, a fundamental and profound disruption to everyday functioning. Um, that level of emergencies. The last time that, that I know of that there were um, multiple people breaking sabbatical at once was, was March of 2020. So that sort of level of emergency. Outside of that very um, unusual case, March of 2020, that happened three years ago, um, I plan to see you all in five months. There's a lot happening at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. You have a great series of guests leading worship and uh, a leadership team here at the church that is confident and capable. It's going to be a great spring here and we will pick up in the summer together. So be well, everyone. Um, be safe, be at peace, and I will see you in June.